lot to paint on and we're going to paint on this today. This is a, um, this is actually cut from a one by four piece of wood. Like, you know how you can buy the pieces of wood, like four, four, not four feet, but eight feet long. So my husband, hey, Miss Carol. Um, hey, Cindy. Hey, Vicki, sister from Lawrenceville, Georgia. I love it. Yeah, tell us if you're a tribe sister or not, because you know, we are in the middle of our launch right now, and we are closing the doors on Sunday. So, um, we are working on some things here. And today, right now, I'm um, just going to do a little painting with you. And we are using, I call these tags, okay? So, basically, um, they're like three and a half. Michael cut these maybe, let me see, I'm going to measure. I'm thinking they're eight inches. Let me see. Eight and a half, okay? So they're eight and a half inches um, long. And that noise you hear upstairs is the dogs, I think, my husband just drove up. So it's they're fine. I just took them out to use the bathroom and everything. So uh, they might see a deer, I don't know, because we live in the mountains. <laughs> okay, so, um, so what, um, what we do is we cut these little angles just to make it look like a tag and then we put a hole through it and then um, we take a piece of jute, which I'm not going to do just yet, but I'm going to show you. I think I have one finished. Mm, I don't know where it is, but we take a piece of jute and we stick it through the hole. I might need to make this hole a little bigger and then um, you use it and this string might need to be bigger too. You use it and you can hang it just like you can hang it on your coat rack. You can hang it on the wall. You can hang it on your Christmas tree. You know, um, you can do so many things with it and they're so super cute. So we're going to paint one today. I have this gray. This is an actual gray. Instead of just using black and white, I'm going to actually use this medium gray just because I have it. I don't buy gray anymore, but when I first started painting, I used to buy gray all the time. But now I just use black and white. Let's see. I'm going to go with this skyline blue. Blue is always a beautiful color. Good morning, Miss Christy. Hey, Miss Nancy. We're so glad you're here. Christy, we're so glad you're here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a grayish blue. Kind of like a dark sky blue. So I'm using a little bit of um, blue. It's like a skyline blue. And I want to make it kind of thin. I don't want to really have, I want some of the wood to show through. So I'm kind of making it almost like a watercolor surface. Okay, you see how you can see those, uh, those wood components come through? I really like that. Hey, Miss Luann. Yeah, blue gray is really pretty. So, um, so yeah, I need to go cook the whole turkey meal. I've just really been kind of down about Thanksgiving because we're here by ourselves and we're not going to have any family over. And um, it's close to my mom's birthday and all that stuff. And my mom used to do a big, a big um, Thanksgiving for the family. And we lost her two years ago this year. And it's just kind of, you know... You know how all that is, but I'm going to make the best of it, and um, we will cook even though it's us three. All right, so I'm going to cover the top, the bottom, the front, the back, everything with this pretty blue. I really happens. If I go higher up and I put the cross way up here, I just want to play for just a minute. I'm going to draw again. I'm going to draw my chapel. Let's make that a little bit longer. Maybe I could even go off the sides like that and then not even put sides here. And do like a big door and then smaller doors. I'm using a charcoal pencil if you were wondering. Um, and it just basically allows me the opportunity to draw on here 
and the paint I'm scrubbing this off the paint will um, the paint will just absorb the charcoal so I don't have to worry about it like bleeding through okay so that's one side um, do you find that the wood sucks up the paint color yes it does okay so I'm gonna grab some white and I just accidentally grabbed some blue as well but oh well and I just have a large paintbrush if you're gonna paint loose you always use a larger paintbrush than what you think you need and it always helps you and if you want you can make both sides the church you can paint both sides the church or you can paint one side the church and one side something else and then maybe like a Thanksgiving theme and then the other side a Christmas theme or spring and summer or whatever you want or maybe a summer and a winter one so I'm just painting over this right now with some white I'm using a more um, opaque white because I need it to cover really well so the white I'm using is this Master's Touch acrylic okay and I'm gonna try to work through by pushing down with my paintbrush I would also do this with a palette knife y'all because you know I love palette knives so another option is a palette knife metallic gold cross at the top what do you think I'm just gonna try it and see let me do the palette knife here. I don't know if you've ever seen this kind of palette knife before, but I used it the other day and I really like it. It's just a really pointed palette knife. So let's see how that would work. Now remember the tribe is open. The tribe is open right now. You have the opportunity to get in at the lowest price the price will stay with you as long as you are a member we are um having a special and I want to show you how you can use a paintbrush or a palette knife on stuff like this. So I'm going to take this brush. This is a really long, skinny brush. And another. And um, sometimes Michael comes on live with us. And um, he's usually my prayer warrior. He, um, he is very versed in the Bible. And so he's kind of, I, I still depend on him a lot for prayer when we pray together. And uh, I've just always been a quiet prayer person. And he's much more vocal in his prayers. So um, I love when he comes on and he shares his faith 
with us and sends a lot of prayers and love to everyone. I'm trying to get better at being more vocal uh, with prayers, but I've always been really quiet about that. It kind of chokes me up when I start um, praying out loud and uh, trying to get stronger at that. So I'm going to do gold. I'm going to do some of this blue that's in the background. I am going to do some red, have to have red. Um, what other color? That might be it, I don't know. Let's try those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a small paintbrush and I'm just gonna start dabbing I'm going to start with the red, okay? And I want it to stay loose, so I'm just going to start dabbing. This red kind of has an orangey tone to it. Just going to dab. And I think I might add another one up here. I didn't put it yet, but... I don't think I want to do my door. I'm going to do my door something else. I don't know what I'm going to do with my door. Y'all help me out. And then, of course, we have to do the sides. Something. We have to... Stained glass is awesome. I love stained glass. Look. Okay, I'm going to go dip into the gold, and I'm going to do the same thing with the gold. So the gold kind of takes the place of the yellow as well. It's really pretty already. Welcome, Lee. So you're getting a, a, a medium taste of what it's like to be a trop sister because we also, when we go live inside the private Facebook group, we, um, we're very bold in there. <laughs> So welcome aboard, Miss Leah. All right, I'm using the same blue that I used in the background. And I'm just having fun putting that pretty blue on there. Miss Nadine is a newbie for two months. Oh, we're so excited that you're here, Miss Nadine. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing that you love it here. That means a lot to me and to us that you do that. All right, now I'm just going with a little bit of white just because, okay. I think I'm going to go with, okay, so this is just a dark chocolate. I've been having this paint forever. It's an old deco art. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my palette. And I'm gonna keep it loose, y'all. Keep it loose, keep it loose. So I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and this is kind of a, a light, it's coming out like a light brown. Oh, are we getting all kind of hearts? That's so sweet. All right. I want my brown to maybe be a little bit darker. Okay, I'm just kind of making it messy. I love this, it's so cute. All right, I'm taking the side of the palette knife. Here we go, palette knife time. Taking the side of the palette knife and I'm gonna put a little mark right in the middle and I'm actually gonna come on the sides here because I feel like it's too perfect. I need to kind of mess it up a little bit. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm gonna mess up my painting because you know I don't do perfect. Let's put some sides. Okay, 
Even though I'm off of the brown a little bit and onto the white, that's fine with me. It does not bother me. All right, so we have a huge door. Let's take a little bitty, bitty, tiny brush with a small tip on the end of it, and let's make some big handles. You know the, those old church, church door handles that are super long? So they're gold. Okay. I like it. All right. We have to do something else because I messed up right here. So I think I'm going to put, I need to put something right there to kind of cover that up. Or if I wanted to, I'm going to put a little bit of snow right on the edge. If I wanted to, I could, um, I could put a tree back there, like behind the church, but I, I don't know if that's going to mess it up or not. What do y'all think? I know I'm talking really low. I'm sorry. I'm get whenever I start painting, I get super into it and I start talking really low. So I'm putting a little bit of paint up here to make it look like it's snow. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. Make it look like it's snowy. And up here. Just a little bit. Let's see what y'all are saying. Happy and blessed Thanksgiving. No tree. Love the snow. Okay, awesome. The snow might not be the best idea either, but I'm going to let y'all make the decision. All right, let me take a rag and um, I'm actually going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to wet it and I'm going to kind of scrub, see if I can get that off. The paintbrush has green on it, so that's not working. I'm going to clean that off. There we go. I just wet the paintbrush and um, passed it back in the blue. You make it a little bit more watercolory. Okay, I'm not sure I'm liking the snow on the church. It's kind of okay, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna kind of soften it up a little bit here with a wide wide brim. Okay, kind of like that a little bit better. All right. So here's the fun part. I'm gonna take very little, I like to do black. Not everybody likes black, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of black. You can use brown, you can use gold, whatever you want. And I'm just gonna roughen it up a little bit, make it a little rustic, even on the church itself. Very, very little. Oops. Once it dries, I could do this better, but. Okay, so that's the beginning. What do y'all think? It's really cute. I want to do something fun on the sides. So I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do like some little stripes like that in white. So I'm almost gonna kind of um, like dry brush. But I'm gonna show you something else I'm gonna do too. So I'm kind of just dry brushing some white stripes with a pretty wide brush. I'm gonna do it even at the top right here.
do one there I did one there they don't look perfect but that's okay I don't like perfect all right there's another one another one another one another one another one okay so from there I'm gonna clean that brush off and I'm gonna take my gold I'm just going out on a limb here because I don't usually do metallic I'm not a shiny person I usually like very mute colors but I'm gonna do just a little bit of gold like on each side like that with my palette knife I'm gonna do the other side too. I'm just kind of making this up on the fly, y'all. So, and it doesn't have to touch the white. It just has to be somewhere on it. Oops, see, I messed up right there, but that's okay. It still looks cute. Okay, let me do one right here. Let me do one right here. Look how cute that is. Okay, that, that one kind of got a little crazy, but that's okay. All right, and I'm not done because I love doing that kind of stuff. And I still have a little bit of black paint on my palette. I'm going to have to do a little bit of the black because it'll just tie it in even better. Because you know I have that black on the front, so it'll, you don't even have to do it every single spot. Like, I'm just skipping around right now. And I'm just putting just a little bit of black on these little spots. You just kind of make your own little fun. You can even do a little bit of rustic black in there. I think I'm going to do a little bit more right here. Now, something that will make this really pop is after I'm done, it's it's very um, matte. matte. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's very matte right now. So if you want it to, to pop more, I would take, I have a spray poly that I use. I, I just get it from Home Depot. And I just take it outside and I spray it and it kind of makes a, it makes it shine just a little bit more. But you would want to let it dry first before you do that. And then you take your jute. Okay, normally this is wet, so this is going to be really difficult. But no, this is one I made for Thanksgiving. Okay, so this is how I stick the jute in. I actually, I take the jute. Oh, y'all can't even see that. There you go. Okay, so I took the jute and I doubled it up and then I passed it through the hole and then I looped it through like that. Okay, and then you can pull it tight. And then at the top here, you could tie it in a knot, however long you want it to be. You tie it in a knot like that, and then there you go. You have a loop. So you could hang this on your tree. You could hang it on a doorknob. You could hang it on a kitchen cabinet. Um, you could hang it on a coat rack. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I've even seen people hang them on their closet door in their bedroom you know, like with an initial on it or something. So um, yeah, a lot of fun things you can do with this. So these are the cute little tags. You can decorate them however you want. 